come to Bob the Chaining Liquid Solution. If you want the best mock interviewing experience in North America, feel free, feel free to check us out at bobthechaining.org. Moreover, if you want to receive the latest tech uh, interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat right here. Okay, so today we're going to talk about this problem intersection of two linked lists. Essentially, giving you two linked lists, right? So there could be these two linked lists gets uh, intersected, and uh, um, this is a very uh, classic problem. There are a few ways to solve it. The most straightforward way is to basically keep a set when you iterate through this array. Uh, you just uh, uh, this list. You just keep uh, whatever the node in the into your set, and then when you visit it here. So the first one contains in the set is going to be your first intersection. Uh, if there's nothing, so they're, they're not intersected. This basically requires extra space. Another way is basically to reverse the linked list. We all know how to reverse a linked list. So you reverse the first one, you reverse the second one, and then you will find, uh, and then you start from the beginning. The first one that gets different, uh, different from the other one. Well, not the first one, the first one got different from another one, the previous one will be your intersected point. So you just need to look one step ahead. Um, but this method might be a little bit tricky because when you reverse the first one, right, just remember, because they share the same same reference, the different reference, same object, then the second one will be the structure is already changed. So you, somehow you have to keep a copy of the second, second list and then have a mapping. So this also probably requires extra space. However, this one, they ask you, there's no intersection at all. Uh, the linked list must retain their original structure, so you are not supposed to change it. So this method is gone, but just F FYI. And uh, also, it says they assume there's no cycles anywhere in the entire linked list structure. We'll talk about that later on after we coded this one up, because if there's cycles, there'll be a little bit more interesting. So this wants own time and own memory. So essentially, in that case, uh, the normal way is you get the list, the length of the first one, and then you get the length of the second one, and then you minus, and then they all start at the same point, and then you just keep going as long as you see the last one, the first one that shares the same uh, node, and then you re you're gonna return that one. So this is basically O M M uh, plus N time complexity. Um, so in this case, um, another way is more like you. A trickier way is you connect one linked list to the other one, and then if there's cycle, so there's another problem for linked list. If they if they do have a intersected, um, so it's like like this. You will starting from the beginning of this linked list, and then uh, you will just uh, move from the linked list as k steps, and then you will find the first one intersected. Um, that's a little bit of tricky method for the second step. Let's just code up the most uh, straightforward method. Um,
Okay, so let's take a quick look of this method. Let's see. So first of all, as long as one of them is now, it's going to be now, and then I get length a and b. I get the absolute diff. So if a larger than b, so I move the a in this step, and then move b this step. So now, as long as they are now equal to now, because there could be there's a now pointer, and then there's another not non less than this is the other one is a uh, super long. So as long as one of it is now, so that means it's not intersect at all. Or else they just as long as they are reference the same, just return it. Or else just keep going. So get the length. But if now get the next, this one move n step zero from n looks great to me. Okay, so that's it for this method. So this is a clean solution for this. So, um, like I said, what happens if these two linked lists could have uh, cycles? So we should uh, basically, uh, for different uh, iterations, first of all, you're going to detect cycles of these two linked lists, right? So if there are no cycles, then we can just solve it like this way. If there are cycles, there could be one it has a cycle, the other is not, then it would never intersect. The other chance is both of them have cycles. In that case, um, we will need to do something clever. So if both of them have cycles, we'll just re remember where their cycle is and then loop through n size. So if they actually intersect with each other, then they intersect or else there is just two individual cycles. So you can draw some graph and understand that. But that's pretty much about it. All right. Thank you very much for watching.